Hello. How do the Brits and the English celebrate the new year? That's the question on my mind today with 2023 approaching. And we're going to find out. Go check out English Like a Native. I already know this is going to be a fantastic video, guys. New Year's Eve British traditions. Let's go. We are coming to the end of the year and- Thank God. 2022, bye. That means that very shortly, we'll be celebrating the start of a new year. I thought this was- Good point. It was a perfect opportunity for me to explain to you exactly how the British like to celebrate the start of a new year. Now, if you're not so confident in listening to English without subtitles, then I have provided subtitles for you. All you have to do is Thank click you. the CC button down below. I mean, your accent doesn't seem that thick to me, but you know, people speaking other languages, you know, might, that might help them. will come up on the screen. And while you're down there, if you're not already a subscriber, then make sure you press that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you don't miss you know any what? future lessons. And before we get this party started, I want Good to idea. say a huge thank you to today's... My gosh, my computer's like, can't take sponsor, this. The last sponsorship of the year, and that is italki. Okay, well, we're skipping that part. Italki. Yay! Oh, all right, I can hear the clocks ticking. It's time to talk about New Year's Eve. Now, in the UK, we celebrate the end of the year on the 31st of December. Come midnight, we say goodbye to the old year and hello to the new year. So our parties will happen really? on the evening of the 31st of December. As with You're telling me you celebrate the new year. When the new year, like the, the time at which the year switches to the new year? Very smart. Any celebration, you're going. People are not dumb. Going to be in a party atmosphere and hopefully surrounded by people that you care about. But there are three potentially four hopefully. features of a New Year's Eve party that makes it. Unique. Hopefully, they're not just using you for your cool British accent. Unique to any other celebration. The first is the countdown. So when we get to midnight, we do like to all shout out loud the last ten seconds. Of the old year. 10, 9, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! Yay! <laughs> At that point, the tradition is that you give. Okay, I think that's probably pretty standard in most countries. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. A New Year's kiss and wish a Happy New Year to those people that you can. The person standing closest to you. Care about. And of course, if you're in a room full of friends and family, that means you've got a lot of hugging and kissing to- Wait, 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 you gotta kiss everybody? <laughs> Here, you just gotta kiss that one person that, um, you know, you wanna kiss. You don't kiss everybody. It's kind of a special thing here. It's like, ooh, are you gonna be my New Year's kiss? To do. Let's just hope that you don't have any cold sores. Well, the other people better hope. And once all the smooching is done, it's time for a little sing song. And we like to sing the song Old Lang Syne. Now, I say sing. Most people in the UK don't actually know the words. And so they <laughs> tend to sing a couple of the lines that they I've never heard of that. Do know, and then mumble the rest of it. But we enjoy doing it anyway, and while singing, we all hold hands together, but we cross That's our cool. arms and do this with our hands. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't. Interesting. Okay. That's, that's new. We don't do that. I might have to do that over here, you know? I, it might be hard to convince people, but I'm going to go for it. I really know why. There is an origin story to this tradition, um, but I haven't found it out yet. And if you're one of those people who doesn't know the lyrics, but wants to learn the lyrics, just like me, I have just done a video for you, which is linked in the description box below. So you can check that out in just a moment. Also Ooh. at midnight, if it's a big or- You could also just Google the lyrics. Organized I'm just saying. Event, you can almost guarantee that there will be fireworks. And I know in London, there is a huge firework display with lots of people lining up along the banks of the River Thames to watch the incredible fireworks mm. going on. Is, that's probably the place to be, huh, London? Mm. 
Like the place to be here is New York City. Watch the ball drop. No matter where you are in the United States, you're watching the ball drop. Okay, like on TV. But the thing is, if you don't live on the East Coast, then you're watching a replay of the ball drop, which is um, very kind of anticlimactic, kind of like lame, kind of like, you know, if you had the TV on already, you would have already seen it drop like three times. <laughs> so, yeah, it's better to be in New York City or at least on the East Coast. Off along the London skyline. This is also televised, so if you don't fancy making your way into London, fighting with the busy crowds, then you can just watch it on your telly. Mm. Now, I grew up in the north of England, and I know in the north of England and in Scotland, we have a tradition called first foot. And this basically is someone bringing in the new year. So you have to pick someone in your- Like it's a physical thing. They're bringing it in, huh? Okay. Household to bring in the new year. They must leave the house before midnight. Oh, wow. And then they must be the first person through the door once midnight <laughs> has struck. Oh my gosh. I like that. That's cool. That's fun. What if they never come back though? Then are you stuck in that year? Everybody else is like, all right, you know, happy 2023. You're like, we're still waiting for Jim Bob to come back. <laughs> happy 2022. You know, we're still stuck in this miserable year. Jimmy Bob went out, he never came back. I think he died. So we're stuck. Now the tradition states- I like that tradition though, I like that. That you have to be careful who you choose to bring in the new year. Mm. I think that if they're tall and dark haired, then that is luckier than someone who is blonde haired, for example. Okay, I need to know which one of you guys are responsible for 2020. Who? Which one of you went out that door and came back in and brought in 2020. We have a, I want a word with you. And so this tall, dark person will go out of the door and they'll wait until the new year has been announced and then they'll walk in and wish everyone a happy new year. Isn't that kind of, is it, you know, it kind of seems sad to be the one like outside in the cold alone <laughs> waiting for the new year. Are you here? Everybody's celebrating, having fun. Everybody's kissing and you're like shivering. And usually they should bring gifts. These gifts each will represent. Okay, no, don't pick me. I'm not buying everybody a gift. Then good fortune for the year ahead. So for example, they will bring a coin and that oh. coin will represent financial prosperity in the new year. They might bring- Can I bring a Bitcoin? Something to eat like bread and that bread will represent food and nourishment for the new year. As a little girl, I remember bringing in a lump of coal and the coal represented warmth. They a lump of coal and you thought that was good luck. Might bring in some salt or some seasoning for flavor. And ah. finally, they bring in a drink of something. So maybe a little bottle or a big bottle or a hip flask. And this represents- Whiskey. Good cheer and happiness. And then we dance, that's cool. Drink, eat, spend time with our friends, our family, or some people just go to bed. And that is the start <laughs> of our new year. Is it any different in your country? I'd love to know. Yes. So please do let me know in the comments box below. Now, next year on this channel, there's going to be... Okay, well, yep. Go check out her channel. That was cool. You know, I'm glad there were some differences. At first, I was a little bit concerned. Like, uh, yeah, you count down from 10. Oh, wow. What a novel idea. <laughs> and you celebrate it at the, at the time when the new year changes. Wow. But the whole thing with someone walking out the door, coming back in, that's pretty, uh, I like that. And uh, you kiss everybody. I don't like that. <laughs> but um, happy new year, guys. Happy new years, guys. And I hope to see you again. You know, have a good weekend. Happy new year. Let's make it a good one, shall we? Goodbye.